All right. They were talking about probabilities. Obviously, there's quite a few definitions. You will need to know those definitions for your test that you will have over probabilities uh, next Wednesday for your six weeks exam. Uh, we will cover parts of it and parts of uh, Chapter 11 for your six weeks exam. Um, but probabilities are a fairly simplistic thing to understand if you understand the definitions. Okay. Um, for example, if we wanted to know the probability of picking a girl from our classroom, okay? In other words, we blindfold somebody, put them out in the hall, they come in, have to touch somebody, and they end up touching a girl, picking a girl, instead of picking a boy. Okay? Obviously, we're not using somebody from our classroom. We're using somebody else. So, bottom line is, the favorable outcome or the event that we want to occur through the experiment is to choose a girl. Okay? Now, to understand that, then we have to first of all know how many girls there are in the room. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six girls. <laughs> you have six girls in the classroom. Okay, then we need to know how many boys we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten boys. Thank you for your little sarcastic comments. Okay, so you have ten boys, you have six girls. So, to figure the probability and how they would how they would show that is they would do this. Probability that you're going to choose a girl, whatever the event is that you want to happen, it'll be put in parentheses. Okay. Obviously, if it's a description of, you know, a long sentence or something like that, they're not going to do that. They'll just say event A, okay, or they'll say the probability of A happening. But the probability of girls that we choose a girl is 6 over the total, which is 16. It's the favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. There's a total of 16 people in the classroom, so therefore... That would be the total possible outcomes. Okay, Of those 16, six of them are girls. So you would reduce that down. And we'd reduce that down to 3 over 8. So the probability that you would choose a girl, come in here blindfolded and you know choose a girl, would be 3 over 8. Okay, So if we had the probability of boys... That would be equal to 10 over 16, which is 5 over 8. Okay. Now, obviously, when you're dealing with something, and we'll talk about this later in, in one of the other sections when we talked about disjoints and overlapping events and some other, other things in other sections, but obviously, in this room... We only have boys and girls, and so therefore, whatever the probability is for girls, whatever's left to make it one, you know, one deal would be what the boys is. Okay, so in other words, when you walk in, you're going to have to choose either a boy or a girl. There's nothing else. Okay, and like I said, we'll talk about that in another another section, but um, in this particular instance, it's. It's logical and it's pretty easy. Three eighths, then it has to be five eighths that you choose a boy. Okay. Now, probabilities are simply the idea that this might happen. Okay. For example, we have talked about this. We talked about it a little bit in sixth grade um, when we talked about probabilities in sixth grade. But the probability that you're going to flip a coin and land on heads is what? One over two or half, okay? 
Well, that's a theoretical probability. Okay? So if I flip a coin and want heads, the probability is one half of that happening. This is a theoretical probability. Okay, flipping a coin, wanting heads, the probability is one half. That's a theoretical probability. Now, an experimental probability would be this. Take a coin and flip it 20 times to see if you come up with 10 heads. Okay? This would be the experimental probability. Okay? So let's say I did I did do that, and I've, we've done it in several different classes throughout the years, and I have never, ever come up with 10 heads, 10 tails. Sometimes we do it 10 times, and I've never come up with 5 heads, 5 tails. Okay? Because it's just simply that. It's a probability. It's the likelihood this is going to occur. Okay? Now... A good example of that is this. The probability that somebody gets struck by lightning is like 1 over 600 million. Okay? But do people get struck by lightning? Yes, they get struck by lightning. The probability that somebody gets struck two times by lightning is just an astronomical amount, but people still do. There have been people that have been struck by lightning twice. Okay. Same thing with, like, for example, um, nowadays the probability that if you do the lottery, uh, the one that they've got now, the actual um, the actual probability of winning it, picking the winning numbers, is somewhere in the neighborhood. If I remember right, I did it did it a while back. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of one and seven hundred ninety-two million. Okay, but there's people that win the lottery. The reason why there are people that win the lottery with that big of a probability is because there's so many people playing it. Okay, that probability only applies to me or you. Okay, it applies to everybody, but if there's... Ten, I think, in the last one, the, like the last big one they had, they had like over a hundred million people play it. Okay, and that's not just then hundred million people just necessarily buying one ticket. Okay, they may buy ten tickets, they may buy five tickets, they may buy a hundred tickets. Okay, so when you're looking at that astronomical amount of numbers of people playing it or things being chosen. Yeah, eventually somebody's going to win. That's like if we take 100,000 people and put them on top of a building in the middle of a a lightning storm. Somebody's going to get struck by lightning. Okay, because they have, you know. Now, the probability may be a little better that they're struck by lightning for each each of those people. But that's just the thing. I mean... The probability that I that I'm going to go out and get on that freeway and get hit by a car, well, if I take, you know, it may be one one over a hundred, but if I take a hundred people and put them on the freeway, somebody's going to get hit by the car, okay? But it would still be my probability would be, you know, one over a hundred. If we take a hundred people and put them on the freeway, 
you know, one out of 100 may get hit. Well, yeah, somebody's going to get hit. So the probability, and what I'm saying is, the probability for the whole group is someone's going to get hit or someone is going to get hit struck by lightning, okay? But the probability for the individual may be 1 over 100, okay? Um, so understand that probabilities are simply that. When a weatherman gives the probability of rain today is 40%. Okay, that's still a probability. It still can happen. It still cannot happen. The only time, okay, the only time that the probability is for sure to happen is when that probability is 1 over 1. Okay, for example, if I took a bag full of red marbles and I wanted to know, and there's 20 red marbles in the bag, Okay, and I'm going to reach my hand in the bag and pull out a marble, and I want to pull out a red one. Okay, well, the probability of that happening is is it's going to happen. Okay, it's 20 over 20, which is 1 over 1, which is 100%. Okay, um, so when those type of things happen, then yes, the probability is 1 over 1. It's going to happen. The likelihood is it going to it is going to happen. You know, just like if we took 100 people in a, in a lightning storm, had them all hold 20-foot metal rods, you know, they're probably going to get struck by lightning. You know, somebody's going to get struck by lightning probably. Um, so probabilities are simply a guess. If you want to look at it, it's basically a guess on what's going to happen. Okay? It's a guess with information okay um, one one area where they take probabilities and apply it to your life is in the insurance industry the probability why are we already packed up Zach the probability that a 16 year old is more likely to get in a car wreck than a 35 year old is is a lot higher and how they come up with that probability is simply taking the number of 16-year-old drivers on the road, okay, comparing the number of accidents that those 16-year-old drivers have compared to the number of 35-year-olds and the amount of wrecks they have. But what they're going to do is they're going to charge the 16-year-old more money for their insurance because the probability of that 16-year-old having a wreck is a lot higher than the probability of the 35-year-old having a wreck. Just like the probabilities hold out for, don't pack up, I'm not done. The probabilities of a girl driver at age 16 and the probability for a boy driver at 16, the higher probability for a wreck is for the boy driver. Okay? It just is because they have more wrecks. Okay? Now, your homework, listen to me. Your homework in this sense, this is what you're going to do tomorrow. For those of you that are going on bands, you will have to turn it in on Friday. Okay? Those of you that are here, you will have a sub, and you'll be expected to do this homework while the sub is here. The sub is one of my baseball coaches, and so if you don't respond properly, he is going to let me know, and I'm going to handle it. Um, you're going to do... 13.1, 1 through 28. Okay? You may go. Okay? 